I think I'll do to start out with is I'll play you the uh, original uh, changes to all the things you are. I'll play an arrangement of that. And then um, after that, I'll, I'll stop and talk about that for a minute. And then I'm going to play uh, the reharmonization that um, is actually on my latest uh, CD on uh, Mel Bay Records called The Second Look. And that's my uh, reharm of all the things you are. So I'll give you a, uh, uh, I'll play with the original changes first. <laughs> key is the original and I kept going with the shape same thing same thing again then I ran out of room then I had to find something else so I came up with these some contrary motion. These are all minor sevens. And back to the original. pretty much like the original changes here. Uh, this consecutive minor uh, seventh chord thing I, I learned from Bill Evans is a tune called Time Remembered where he does this quite often. So a lot of my tunes and reharmonizations are influenced by that song. If you haven't checked that out, that's one that you should, uh, every guitar player should, should check out, Time Remembered. So. All minor sevenths. Now C uh, major seventh sharp eleven. D flat seven sharp nine. E minor. And e flat minor. A flat. D half diminished. Uh, G seventh alter sharp five flat nine. Then back to this again. Minor 
minor, B flat minor, then A major sharp 11, and then that chord. This is two triads. It's a D triad on the lower three strings, and a D flat triad on the upper three. Joe Diorio calls that uh, a movie chord. <laughs> and I, here's a structure of, uh, and we're only going to be using for now the, the uh, strings one through four. So here's a perfect fourth, E to A, then open uh, B to G, which is a sixth. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's better. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this structure, this fourth and sixth, and I'm going to run it up the fretboard in the key of C. So what happens is each note is going to move up one scale tone. So here's the first one. The second one has now an F natural, a B, a C, and an A. Now get your fingers underneath um, your thumb underneath the neck. So you, whenever you do that, you always elongate your fingers. If you come back too far, I don't want anybody ending up in the emergency room. So we're here. Now I'm going to move this up one more. Now I've got G, C, D, and B. Moving up to the next highest place. Now I've got A, D, E, and C. Next highest place. Now I've got B, E, F, and D. Moving up to C, F, G, and E. Next highest place, D, G, uh, A, and F. And now I'm back to where I started an octave higher. E, A, B, and G. It's here, now I'm here. Now, here's how you apply this no. kind of... Here's that structure again. Back to this little polychord. through all the keys like that. Then try a little walking pattern. Okay. See why it's important to have that first finger on the sixth string and the second finger on the fifth string. you can add the sixth chord major or, or uh, dominant or minor. Does that sound like Joe Pan? 
not as good, but but that's the uh, that's that's a, a thing he did a lot. But he would he would take tempos like. Um, You got it all in one lesson. No, not really. I know a few more things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I encourage your um, your questions, you know. And, uh, you know, I have a website. You can always email me. And I, I do answer my email. I'm one of those kind of guys. It's about all I can do on a computer anyway. I was telling Mike <laughs> about that earlier. We had some people here. Uh, but I do answer, and uh, you know, as best I can. And I do have books out on Mel Bay. I'm currently working on one on uh, polychords, and my CDs, just about all my Victoria's products are, are there if you want to, you know, check out my books. I have another book, uh, it's called Inside Outside, which is just no chords, just lines on different uh, approaches to changes. I play with the rhythm section. It also has play-along capabilities. Uh, uh, Thelonious Monk. <laughs> 